You won't believe this. You can actually run KVM on Windows 11. And this thing actually runs better than some of the virtual machine programs out there for Windows, such as VirtualBox and QEMU. KVM on Windows is possible thanks to WSL. Uh, and I made this video about two years ago, KVM on Windows 11. At that time, this thing wasn't that great. The performance was really bad. But now, somehow, this thing actually runs really well. Again, as I said, this thing actually runs better than VirtualBox and QEMU. Here you can see I have the Windows 10 virtual machine, which is actually a Windows 11 virtual machine. I just named it Windows 10. I don't know why, don't ask me. Okay, so here, <laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable. This thing, you know, if you're a Linux user, you know what KVM is. It's a free and open source uh, kernel based virtual machine, which is actually built into uh, uh, Linux. So this KVM thing is a Linux thing. And sadly, it is only available in Linux. Now I'm using it on Windows. Look at that. This is actually a Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Somehow this thing actually runs pretty well okay uh yeah <laughs> i don't know what to say you know why this is possible why this thing is actually running really well now because uh wsl now supports nvidia cuda okay basically it can utilize the nvidia graphics uh, i can actually show you guys let me show you guys something really cool that i can do in linux now <laughs> as a noob i think this is really cool Nothing too special, but uh, I think it's fast fetch. Yeah, look at that. Uh, it's Ubuntu. Uh, and here you can see CPU, GPU, and basically this thing can utilize the system resources. And you can see in RAM, it is using five gigabytes of RAM already. This is probably because I'm running the uh, VM here if I turn this off oh yeah look at that now it's only using 800 megabytes of RAM and actually if I do NVIDIA SMI here you can see it detects the NVIDIA GPU on the system so basically it is utilizing the GPU too that is the reason why this KVM thing works here even though this is happening all virtually like it's a, a VM inside VM. So basically now WSL is so powerful that it can run any Linux applications without any problems. And CUDA is there, basically the GPU acceleration thingy is here. So this is actually really cool. You know, recently I have been uh, exploring the Linux world, trying different Linux distros and all that. I couldn't find a single Linux distro that I could use as a main OS. I'm just saying, you know, there are many problems with Linux. Not enough applications, not enough games. Uh, there are also compatibility issue and all that. Yeah, you can install Windows apps on Linux using Vine and all that, but still it's not perfect. But if you look at the other side on Windows using WSL, you can run any Linux application, anything. You know, it just works. I know this is nothing new, but this is simply mind blowing. Now, here is the thing. KVM will run better if you have a really good system specs. For me, it's actually not that bad. It's like decent system specs. Okay, i7, eight core CPU. If I had like 16 or more core CPU, it, it will run better, the KVM thingy. And same goes for the GPU, same goes for the RAM. I have this another virtual machine here. This is the Arch. Actually, this is the custom Arch. I wanted to try the Hyperland uh, on virtual machine, but none of the virtual machine actually work well with the Hyperland. But KVM actually works somewhat. I don't know what to say about this, but I'll, I'll show you guys actually. <laughs> Let me log in here. So I have the Hyperland Sway here. Sway works without any problem. Uh, let me see if I can launch the Hyperland right now. Okay, please work. Okay, it's working. But there is this problem, display problem. This is same in uh, Linux too. I have tried this in uh, Linux and KVM. 
no windows no nothing like that i tried it natively on linux this is same on linux actually this hyperland thingy works better on windows 11 with kvm than the linux kvm i don't know how but it is what it is <laughs> okay but you can see it is usable there are some glitches this is the hyperland problem not an kvm problem but it is usable it is testable i mean i can test all the things here and there x11 actually works uh, actually i want to show you guys this thing okay let me create a new virtual machine for you guys okay here it is it is probably using x11 that's why it's working here uh, so uh, let me go into the display settings and change the display settings if i can this is a live cd actually let's make it a 1080p maybe scale it a little bit or maybe make it just too big <laughs> i don't know so here it is you can see it's working without any problem and i'm pretty sure it's using the x11 so when you see glitches on the display when you're trying to uh, try the, the different linux distros that distro is probably using a uh, wayland so it's a wayland issue and yeah it's using the x11 so yeah kvm on windows 11 is actually usable now there is just one problem that is you'll need a powerful computer more powerful cpu and gpu you have this thing is gonna run better that's it plus if you're a linux user i think you can do some tinkering here and there and make it work even better and yeah one more thing uh, this will only work with ubuntu wsl if you try this with something else it might not work i have tried this with almost everything actually i haven't tried this with debian i think maybe this will also work with debian i have this thing installed but it sure works with ubuntu i have tried with uh, arch fedora and all that but no none of them work when you install the word manager you can launch it but you get an error something is missing or something like that again if you're a linux user you can just fix those problems but if you don't want any errors and don't want to fix anything go with the ubuntu this will just work if you want to try the kvm and i want to share with you guys one more app uh this is called wsl toolbox there are actually many apps to manage wsl distros and all that but almost every app out there is paid so this one is the only free app that i found with this app you can manage your wsl distros easily so here you can see uh, ubuntu is running and i actually moved the wsl to the d drive because uh, by default it's going to install to the c drive and it actually impacts the performance when you're using the wsl plus doing something on your windows 11 system so if you want to get a better performance uh, move your WSL distro to secondary drive if possible. So I did that with this app. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.